I feel like I look weird. It just looks so fake. This routine is no joke. Obsessed. Get ready with me to become Alex Earl. Take a shot of sparkling water every time I say get ready with me in this video. Hydration is key. I feel naked without earrings. I feel like Alex Earl would wear earrings and like we are channeling Alex, so let me get some earrings. <laughs> We've got the hoops, don't panic. So Alex Earl is essentially the queen of get ready's with me. Get ready with me's? The queen of a get ready with me. I don't know Alex Earl, <laughs> obviously. But in my opinion, she seems like a really sweet, genuine girl. Like she seems like, you know, she's trying to live her life and be in college and have fun. To me, she seems like a genuinely nice girl. I know this is a little dark, but like it'll look better once I have makeup on, okay? So don't panic. This is Chapstick. This is the Summer Friday Lip Butter Bomb. It's so good. Okay, we're gonna be following Alex's routine. The first thing she always starts with, we're just gonna go ahead and jump on in. And by the way, all of the products will be linked down below if you are interested. First up on the docket, I have loved and used the Drunk Elephant Debronzi Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops for a very, very long time, long before Alex Earl. <laughs> They're truly fantastic and she mixes them every day with the Magic Cream from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a very expensive primer combination, but hey, we're, we're gonna see if it works magic, you know? And you may be asking, India, where are you going? Like, where are you getting dressed up for? I'm actually going on a friend date, and you guys know, like I've talked about how hard it is, how hard I find it to make friends as an adult. I met this girl in my workout class, I do Pilates classes, and she invited me to dinner, so I'm going on a date. <laughs> Her name is Olivia. I've only met maybe one nice Olivia in my life, you know, so I'm a little nervous <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, she seems like a great girl and I'm excited to hang out with her because like making friends as an adult is hard You know, especially when you work from home. So all right. Um, I mean this is pretty it's giving glowy youthful dewy supple Baby skin. I'm feeling it. I'm into it. The only product of hers that I do not have, and I will explain why. Um, so foundation wise, Alex uses either the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation or the Tom Ford Traceless Stick Foundation. No Sephora near me. I went to two different Sephoras and called the other one closest to me. No Sephoras near me because I don't live in the main city now. I live in the suburbs. India takes on the suburbs of Georgia. Believe it or not, they do not sell those foundations because they're so expensive. Apparently in the suburbs, which I found was kind of offensive like just because you're in the suburbs doesn't mean you don't want to buy an expensive foundation I don't know, but that's what they explained to me. So anywho, I did buy a different foundation um, I wanted to try a new foundation. I got Lady Gaga's brand the house labs foundation So I'm gonna be trying that here today. It looks really really pretty and I I apologize that I do not have the exact same one as Alex Earl, but Listen we live in the suburbs <laughs> a very good color match. Look at that, just blending right into the neck. <gasps> Hunty, yeah. Alex definitely wears more foundation than I do. I typically go for a more like sheer look where it looks like I'm not wearing anything on my skin, um, but it's kind of fun to go a little more full glam. This is still a sheerer foundation. It's definitely buildable, but more full coverage than I ever wear because usually you can see like my freckles and like things peeking through my foundation But with this one, it's a little bit more medium coverage, but we gotta be Alex All right, it appears Alex does not powder at this point. She waits to the end So next we're gonna move in with bronzer today. I'm using the say bronzer. This is their sun melt It's a cream bronzer. She always uses cream bronzer and she applies her contour higher than I typically would like I would put it like down here in the shadow of my face, but this girl Girl, like she's doing it like on her cheekbone, which is interesting because I would think like that's too high But who knows we're gonna do <laughs> We're gonna be Alex today <laughs> Obviously where you contour depends on your face shape. We have a somewhat similar face shape although my forehead is significantly <laughs> Significantly larger than hers. So I'm just gonna just cut this forehead, baby. You know what I'm saying? Just cut it She puts some down under her chin Carve out that jaw. It seems like she actually drags it even forward a little bit. Maybe she's trying to make her chin appear slightly shorter. Although I feel like she has a very short chin already. And then she does a little bit on the sides of her nose as well to contour. And she cuts her nose in half as well to make it not look as long, I presume. I find it interesting because I wouldn't have done my bronzer this high, but I think it kind of like, 
kind of lifts. I don't know. Maybe it's in my head, but I feel, <laughs> I feel the lifting, honey. I feel the lifting. I mean, do you feel lifted? I feel lifted. Okay, we're going back to the friend thing really quickly while I blend. Am I the only one that finds making friends as an adult hard? I just feel like, what am I gonna do? Like, go up to a girl and be like, hey, love your skirt, wanna hang out next week? Like, how the heck am I supposed to meet people? We still haven't solidified our church home in our new area. We've, we're down to two at this point. Obviously, you can meet friends at workout classes, but like, other than that, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm really liking this bronzer, by the way. In comparison to the Fenty Cream bronzer, I feel like this isn't quite this blends better, it more, it's literally called sun melt. It quite literally melts into the skin, right? It's not quite as strongly pigmented, which is like good and bad. I think it's probably gonna end up looking more natural than the Fenty one, but take a longer time to apply. So pros and cons, you know what I'm saying? I will say the order in which we're doing things is driving me nuts because I usually do concealer first and foremost, and this order is kind of driving me crazy. When are we getting to the concealer, Alex? When? Oh, praise the Lord. Okay, we're doing it. So, today I'm gonna be using the Kosas Creamy Dreamy Revealer Concealer in 2. and 2.5C. That was my alarm to like start getting ready for this dinner, so <laughs> hopefully I won't be late. Oh, okay. We're doing the sides of the nose. You know, I've seen girls do that. I never do that. I don't really know what that's for. She appears to do thicker here. Actually, it looks like she does her concealer on the sides like closer up. I don't know, I hope I'm not doing that wrong. Um, she's besties with Selena, duh, and she uses the under eye brightener first. I've seen her do that in some videos. She, she didn't in this one, but um, I do really like that product. If you really struggle with dark under eyes, I think that it's fantastic. Sometimes I'll wear it just on its own, but if you want it as kind of like a base for your concealer, I think it works really beautifully. This is already just so much more makeup than I ever wear. <laughs> this is not regular India. This is glamorous India. She uses the Rare Beauty blushes a lot. Now, she often uses the color Happy. This is not a color I would go for. This, this was like a little sample that they sent me, but it's like a peachy pink, like a neutral peachy pink. I would go for a more mauve color in the color Truth. Maybe I should stick to true Alex Earl fashion. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna be Alex Earl today, so I'm gonna use the color Happy. This is totally outside my comfort zone. I would literally never in a million years reach for this, but today, today I'm Alex. So then she puts the blush like even higher, obviously than the bronzer, but like, holy guacamole, like that's where I'd be putting my highlighter. I'm so thrown right now. This is making me feel, oh my gosh, you can see my microphone, how embarrassing. This is making me feel like I'm 80 and like so far behind on the trends these days, you know? Okay, the blush is pretty, okay. I can't lie, the blush is pretty. Wow, I've had this in my collection and I've just never used it. I would just never graduate, grad, gravitate gravitate towards that color, but it's very pretty. It's very youthful. I think I'm gonna add just even a little bit more because hers is like showing up more. I feel like she uses a lot of blush, which I love. Y'all know I'm like a blush queen. Next, she bakes, finally, praise the Lord. Okay, so let's see where she bakes. Okay, this is interesting. I've literally never done it this way, but we're gonna do it this way. She powders her chin pretty strongly. She powders under the eye all the way into like the corner of her nose. I feel like I look weird. <laughs> I'm so curious to see how this turns out. Okay. Uh huh. And then she goes like down, like this side of the nose, kind of. It appears she does her smile lines as well. And above the lip and a little bit in the middle of the forehead. I have to tell you, I've never worn this much makeup in my entire life. <laughs> in my entire life. All right, then for brows, she uses the Benefit Pre Precisely My Brow. I have used that so many times in my life. Um, it is not cruelty free, and they do not have a shade that really works perfectly for me, so instead, today I'm gonna use the Kosas um, Brow Pop pencil, and I'm gonna try to fill my eyebrows in as best I can how she does hers. All right, brows are done. I naturally have darker brows than Alex, but this is about as close as we're gonna get right now. Alex always uses a clear brow gel to comb those bad boys up. I feel like every Gen Z girl is like the queen of the laminated brow. I think she does a good job of making it look natural, but having them be brushed up at the same time. Next, we're jumping in with the lip liner. Today, I'm gonna use Laura Mercier's Plumberry. She does overline her lips a little bit, but it's nothing crazy. Um, I mean, she's talked about having lip fillers, which is fine, um, but I'm just gonna work with my natural lip shape today. 
And then I'm gonna jump in with a light pink gloss that she likes to use in the center. She uses a light pink gloss. It's a lot of makeup. <laughs> it's a lot of makeup. <laughs> now, what Alex is always known for is using a light, like nude white color in her inner tear duct. So today I'm gonna use the Too Faced Killer Liner Waterproof Eyeliner. Um, this is in a nude color to brighten the eyes. And I do love this. Often she uses um, the NYX white one. To me, it just looks so fake and not natural to use chalk white in there it just looks like like a doll like i don't know i don't care for that but i went for a, like a light nude and i think i'm gonna probably actually integrate this into my daily routine because i forgot how much i love to do this <laughs> it gives such a youthful effect and makes your eyes look bigger and brighter can you tell the difference from me doing that i feel like if it were to be like a bright 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 white it would look fake but with this nude color i think it just makes your eyes look big and cute. The next Alex staple, of course, is her Tweezer Man Lash Curler. I bought this at Sephora. I'll tell you what, this is an expensive routine. <laughs> like, <laughs> this routine is no joke. Fun fact, I've never used an eyelash curler, so I'm low-key terrified, but she uses this in every single makeup routine she does. I feel like this is the Alex Earl signature, so let's try it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna poke my eye out. Okay, I'm gonna use this. Okay, I can do this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, uh-huh. And then she like pushes, 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 pushes. Okay. I don't see a difference whatsoever, but I know I don't know if that's just because my eyelashes are blonde and you can't eat, tell. <laughs> Maybe you'll be able to tell once I apply mascara, you know what I mean? Oh, 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 okay, okay, I think I didn't do this one enough, hang on. Okay, I definitely see a difference. I think you just really won't be able to fully tell until I apply the mascara because my lashes are blonde. Next, we mascara. I'm using my favorite mascara. This is the Ilia mascara. I adore this mascara. It's clean beauty. It's so stinking good. Next, she's using a highlighter. I can't tell which one she's using, but I'm gonna jump in with the Rare Beauty highlighter from Selena. Then she like gets rid of all the excess powder on her face. I still feel like I don't have quite as much bronzer and blush as she does, and I'm not sure if that's just because she's so stinking tan, but I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer and blush to bring out my inner Alex. For her eyes, she likes to go in with just like a brown. I don't know why she does this after mascara. We'll never know. Brushes back and forth brown in her crease and kind of wings it out. And then I usually see her just do a flick on the edge to kind of elongate and give a little bit more of a fox eye appearance. So that's what we're gonna try here today. So it seems like she just takes like a little small skinny eyeshadow brush, dips in like a dark brown eyeshadow and then just bing, wings it. <laughs> This is our finished makeup look. I mean, like, I like it and I don't, you know? I don't like it because, like, it doesn't, it doesn't look like me. You know what I mean? She always wears her hair down, so that's why I'm trying to, like, give the appearance, even though my hair is tragic. Just so you can feel a little more like, oh, yeah, Alex. I don't know. She does wear a middle part, though. I'm just not a middle part girly. Like, ew. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I refuse to join that generation. Are there parts of this makeup routine that I will take forward with me? Yes. Are there parts that I will ditch? Yes. I prefer a matte lip. I don't know why. I just prefer it. I think it looks more natural than having like huge juicy lips. The blush was a fun switch up for me. Like I never wear this blush shade, as I said. Like I'm into it. You know, I'm into it. My hair is so greasy, you guys. I kind of like the bronzer and blush placement. Like it's, it's higher than I normally go, but I do feel like it's snatching, you know, but then it, it kind of makes my face look skinnier and I don't really know how I feel about that. This foundation I loved. I know this isn't really an Alex Earl thing, but I do like this foundation. I like the base. I think I wouldn't use this much powder because it looks a little matte for my personal liking. I like a more like dewy, supple, <laughs> glowy <laughs> appearance, so not as much powder. Obsessed with the eyeliner. The bronzer, I... I love. This is more natural than what she uses, and I am so happy with it. I will definitely, definitely be using this. This thingy, I, <laughs> like, I don't wanna say I'm gonna return it, cause like I used it, but like, maybe I didn't use it right. <laughs> 
the magic cream with the bronzer I will say I enjoyed I typically will do the drunk elephant combined with a cheap moisturizer on days where I don't want to wear a foundation but I wouldn't typically wear this under a foundation I think it gives a pretty like glowy complexion to the skin do I think that this magic cream is out of this world and worth the price you know overall I feel like Alex Earl I'm gonna go into my friend date <laughs> feeling confident and um and I'm excited I'll let you guys know how it goes stay tuned I'm, I'm actually I'm actually gonna be late so all right I love you guys and I'll see you next time